Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 how you doing? I've got Laura Taylor on this morning from the Digibyte Awareness Team. Many of you know her, crypto enthusiast, Digibyte legend, Digibyte mama, okay? I just slipped that in, Digibyte mama. Um, we, we're doing a couple of videos this morning, breaking them up into bite-sized uh, pieces. This is the third video. We're going to talk about the London meetup toward the crypto and the meetup in Washington. Um, so, Laura, good to see you again this morning. Good to see you. And I've got an article on my cell phone. We'll start off with the tour to crypto because that's that's of interest to me, um, which should make it an interest of everyone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> from my little kingdom in my basement. So it's on smartethereum.com. Crypto charity, blockchain painting, paintings like P A I N T I N G S, blockchain paintings are drawing attention to the industry. What's all that about? Well, um, okay, so Tour de Crypto is, uh, is a campaign to raise funds for. Uh, for charities to, to not like give funds to charities themselves but teach charities how to set up their own wallets own their own wallets so that the funds that they do get 100% of the proceeds goes to that charity it's a it's really an, it's an amazing thing these guys have done and maybe we can put a link to tour to crypto oh, yeah. under this one um, so people can really you know learn more about that it's it's, it's a long story but it's a Kind of a beautiful one, I think, yeah. of the community, crypto communities coming together and empowering people, uh, you know, with this technology. And uh, one of the after they got to, they went to World CryptoCon as part of that tour from Washington to California, and were really well received. I was super excited to see how supportive the community at World CryptoCon uh, was to them. And one of the things that came out of that was. Um, Basically, auctioning artwork, um, you know, for the, to support the tour and support the efforts of the tour. So uh, that is, you know, we can maybe put a link to that site as well under here just to get pe that on people's radar. So uh, you know, it's just trying to find all those different revenue avenues for these really great uh, charity uh, causes and nonprofits, um, and they are. They've technically finished this tour. They, they thank God. I was so worried for these guys because they've just been, they've been in harm's way. I mean, they really got hurt. Like Jason really got hurt, and you know, so did Joe Val. Like they, yeah. they both got like majorly injured, but still didn't. What I really loved too was, I mean, it didn't, it didn't make them stop. You know, it just made them stronger. And yeah. I, I really have a lot of respect for that. Me too. And, and they finished like champs. And and they they didn't like to hang up their bikes and go home. Well, uh, well, technically, yes, they did. But but they're still, uh, they connected with other people along this process. And they connected with um, Bruce Porter Jr., who is uh, running a conference in Washington, D.C., November 30th through December 1st. Uh, it's called Washington Elite, and it's uh, it's blockchain and AI conference. There's just a lot of really great speakers mm. that are going to be there. Uh, there's education options that they are uh, connecting the uh, conference goers with with uh, the global blockchain. Um, oh, sorry, government government blockchain alliance, My GBA. There's so many. There's so many acronyms in this space. <laughs> but anyway. Um, and you can go on their website, um, Washington Elite uh, Conference, and uh, I'll, I'll give you some of these websites. You links bet. To, Thank you. That you can that you can connect. So, so the Tour de Crypto team will be there, and um, they're not stopping. But this is going to be. They've been contacted by groups in other countries to do the same thing in other countries. Um, you know, it's just you mm. know this wasn't this. They were like, well, this will be an annual thing. I think they've got big plans for this to be the start of a real movement. So uh, the artists that are uh, contributing their work for charity, for auction uh, auction off for charity, uh, that's also going to be spotlighted. So it's just a way of getting everybody's, you know, 
we all have something to give here. Even if you don't have crypto, you have a talent, you have something. It's giving people a place where, where they can share that. Yeah. Well, I was following them early on, even before the trip started and um, during the trip on Twitter. And from my little vantage point, it seemed like, and this is a kind of a worn out phrase, but they really seem to get, no pun intended, traction and momentum as they got deeper into the trip. Was that yeah, true? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's a new, it's a, it's, it was something so different, so it, it's very innovative, what they were, what they were yeah. doing, what they were trying to do, what they did do. Yeah. Um, that, you know, anything, you know, like Bitcoin, people didn't get Bitcoin in the very beginning either, you know? It's like anything that's innovative and different usually will take people a little while, and, you know, being in, the, in a bear market uh, also doesn't help. Uh, so they really had, a, pardon the pun, uphill climb. Yeah. <laughs> they had a lot of hills to climb. Um, so, but they, but again, that, that just made them stronger yeah. and it strengthened the community around them. And uh, I'm just really proud of the work that they've done and, and really grateful for all the support uh, they're getting from the community now and, and, you know, people getting the word out and, this is just the beginning of, of what they're trying to do. So well, I think that's awesome. I, yeah, I wondered at the beginning, I asked, I mean, even in my own personal life, I just ask people lots and lots of questions. And one of the first, not the first, but one of the questions I remember kind of pondering to myself when I first heard about Tour de Crypto is, is this going to be annual? Is this going to spread you know, Canada, whatever. And um, I had a feeling that if it caught on, it would. And it sounds like it did catch on and they're going to be doing it in other countries, correct? Yeah, or they've been approached by groups in other countries as well. So, yeah, they plan on it being an annual thing. And, you know, it will evolve in how it's, uh, yeah. how it's, how it's rolled out the next one, you know, and, uh, and who gets involved and how many writers they have. I mean, they, they're, they're working on those logistics now. And, um, I just want to say a big, big thanks to, you know, Blake, Joe oh, yeah. Bell, oh, Jason, yeah. Hayes, well, he's, I always say his name wrong. Um, he, he, not Josue, Josue. I'm sorry. I always pronounce it wrong. So I've got to be really careful. So Josue, who is the camera guy, he never gets the shout outs that he deserves. So, yeah, right. Um, Thank, thanks to that team, and also a big thanks to Cassidy from um, uh, wow, Wild West Crypto Show. They had a, a, a yes. issue with with needing a, an extra person, like kind of you know almost midway through, and he just dropped everything to come support them and help them and drive and you know give them you know water when they need it, that sort of thing. So just pumping their tires, changing their tires. So just to all those guys, I just want to say thank you for taking the time, the efforts to to help support the space and help support education and charities. Yeah, that's great. There was one tweet that I saw, and again, I forget the state, I forget the woman's name. It's not, well, I mean, it is, it is important, but she drove, I'm just going to make up a number, like a half hour, an hour, and she made like a casserole for them and just like gave it to them and they were taking pictures of her by the roadside. I'm like, oh my gosh, like how sweet, you know? Yeah, and I think that, you know, that it's just such a good, it, it, it's just a good energy in the space. So in, in, a, in a market like it is right now, we can use all the good energy we can get. <laughs> I kind of say on some of my videos, sometimes I'll do a video and I go, this is a feel good story. I'm like, what's a feel-good story? When I'm done with the video, you're just going to feel good. And this right. is one of those feel-good stories that, yeah, it's awesome. And, again, I salute Tour de Crypto and the time and the energy. And I won't go into a lot of details, but Laura and I talked about this in a pre-interview. I know a gentleman that did something similar several, several years ago. He's a friend of mine, bicycle guy. Um, it's, I mean, he doesn't do it for a job. It, it's a hobby, but he's really in shape and he went cross country and it was grueling. So I know just the physical toll, the grind, the mental, the, you know, so again, I salute toward the crypto and everybody involved in that project for sure. Yeah, definitely. So, and then we, 
Okay, so and then the London meetup. I was just going to say, tell about us about that. the London meetup. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, there's a London meetup uh, November 18th, I believe that's the date. Um, again, we'll supply these links for you. And um, there's going to be a lot of uh, members of the awareness team because there's, you know, we're we're global. There's a lot in Europe, and so uh, you know they're gonna they go out there. Um, and uh, it's put on by uh, the Steam community, um, organized it, and um, it's stuff. From the Steam community, I think she also goes under Cassiopeia and Stephen Kendall have just been amazing in, in supporting uh, supporting Digibyte and integrating these two communities. And um, we also uh, have Jared supposed to be there to you know he's going to be with all the team. I think it's going to be so fun for everybody to meet you know for the first time. Um, also, uh, I can never say. Daniel's last name correctly, so I'm just not going to even try. I, I tried pronouncing it a couple <laughs> times this morning. I'm like, I'm going to butcher it. So, but Daniel is the CEO of the DX Exchange, and that uh, that's an exchange that is uh, is in the works to come online, which will be, you know, I think it it will be a pretty uh, pretty massive um, asset, you know, for for the Digibyte community and the crypto space. So it's just, you know. It's a wonderful opportunity for people to get out again behind the, you know, from yeah. behind their computers and meet these, these founders and these CEOs that are really, uh, they're 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 evolving this space and ask them questions and shake their hands and uh, so if you can get a chance if you're in London, I am not, um, <laughs> but if you're in London and you can go, please register to go because I think it's going to be a really good one and I think it's. Really, uh, an opportunity to meet some very knowledgeable, passionate yeah. people in this space. Yes, sometimes I can, like when someone tells a story like that, I can focus sometimes on an insignificant detail. So maybe this is insignificant, but I'm it's a question rattling around in my mind, Laura. Do you know how big, by chance, the venue is? I mean, I, I think it's a pretty good size place that they're I, meeting it, or no? I, for the for the meetup, yeah, I don't know, but I know that they still have registration slots available. That's all I do know. So oh, you have to register. Uh, so we've got you know four more days. So if you want to go, uh, and there's going to be you know like I had a I had an interview with the crypto mug investor guys last week. They're going to go. Are they? Oh my god, man, they're going to be fun, and they're going to do some live streaming videos there and do some interviews too. So it's just I think going to be a really fun crypto party. So. You know, if you can go, I think it would be a great way to start the holidays. Well, sometimes I think, you know, in my free time when I'm just like thinking about, you know, the crypto space and people and projects, I think, of course, I'm 60. I don't have, you know, another 30 or 40 years maybe, hopefully. But I think some of the younger people like the crypto mug investors, I'm going to say they're in their mid-20s. I think yeah. they're going to look back in whatever, 15, 20, 30 years and go, man, Things have really changed since we started doing videos in 2018. And I think people are going to realize that in a small way or a big way, they were really a, a part of history being rolled out right in front of their eyes. Yeah, I, I agree. And I told those guys, I said, I think what you're doing is brilliant. And they said, well, we just started this because there was nobody to talk to. We need to get it out of our system, you know, and, and. I just think, you know, any any of you guys with these YouTube channels that are trying to get this information out there are really going to be seen as um, kind of as soldiers in this, like, you know, it's a, it's a, not so much, I don't want to call it so much a war, but it is a revolution of technology and, yeah. and, and people who are willing to put their time and efforts and their yeah. name and face out there, I, I think you're right, I think that they will be seen as, uh, um, Something really important at this time. Yeah. I remember, and again, it sounds like I'm taking credit for this. I'm not. I'm just kind of laughing in my mind as I'm telling this story. So one of their, the Crypto Mug Investors, one of their videos came up on my YouTube channel or like on the right-hand side, the feed. So I clicked on it. I laughed for 10 minutes. I'm like, are, who are these guys? Are these guys... Are they trying to be funny? Are, are these jokes that they've talked about? So I, I got a hold of them and they're like, 
we have no idea what we're doing. So I believe, not that I want to take credit for this, but I think I was the first YouTube person to interview them. And we talked more in the pre-interview than we did the actual interview. But they were so funny. I said, are you guys like this all the time? I mean, is public information, they're brothers, and they actually work together in the construction industry, so they're next to each other all day long. I said, you guys got to take, you should go to a comedy club in London. You could be the next, you guys are so funny. They're like, you know, anyhow, it was just so sweet to, uh, yeah. They're very authentic. They are very authentic. Well, like you're, you're very authentic. Yeah. Like, and it's always fun to talk to people who, yeah, you know, they're just being themselves. Oh, and gosh. no, they're they're great, great guys. So yeah. that was really a fun conversation. So we've had the London meetup, tour to crypto, and the Washington event. Um, if someone's watching this for the first time, or maybe they know everything about Digibyte or meetups. Laura Taylor, what's rattling around in your mind that you want to have the last word on in the interview today about uh, anything? Well, you know, we're talking about like the London Meetup and Twitter Crypto and Washington Elite Conference. I guess I would just say, you know, really kind of start, start searching out opportunities to go and, you know, participate, yeah. you know, if you can. Yep. Uh, you know, if you're on the East Coast, there's, you know, Atlanta's a big city. They've got a... Atlanta has another conference, I think it's in December, but, you know, these, New York has a lot of conferences, I think I would seek out conferences, um, and, and one thing I will say about the Washington Elite Conference, and I, and I shared this with Bruce Porter Jr., is I really appreciated that their tickets, their ticket prices were low, it was like $99 if you like, pay in crypto, or 150 if you pay in fiat, and... And I think that that's really reasonable for a two-day conference where you have learning opportunities and networking opportunities and things like that. I think that that's a very fair price. And um, I have to say, you know, sometimes those ticket prices are so high, it really kind of yeah. cuts off an entire part of the community yeah. that can't come. And I, I do appreciate those conferences that are, that are well-priced um, and those opportunities that are, you know, we're frugal people right now. We, we're, not, we're not swimming in millions right now, I mean, a lot of us. So it's, uh, it's nice to have those good values. So look for a good value conference and get out there and, you know, start talking to some people and participating as much as you feel like you want to. That's good, Laura. Well, listen, everybody, we're going to shut it down here this morning. Laura, again. I only tease the people I like. I appreciate you, the Digibyte community, the Digibyte awareness team. And yeah, we're kind of all learning as we go. We're going to fake it till we make it, I say. But yeah, thanks That's for- That's my motto too. Really? Yeah. I've, <laughs> actually, I've got a buddy in the United States where he's had two, three major career changes that were vastly different. And he's very- financially very, very successful. And I'm like, how do you do it? He's like, I fake it till I make it. And I'm like, he's just got this, you know, um, wealth of information and he's likable and articulate and like you, Laura. And, um, you know, just, but he's had these career changes where you're like, you're really gonna try that? And then in three years, he's like the top salesman or something. So anyhow, I'm going to fake it till I make it. I don't know about you, but no, thanks for coming on and really appreciate your skill set. Thanks. All right. See you, Laura. Bye. Bye.